Doug and PA back with another video. So guys, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I say avoid single mothers at all costs. Don't date them. Don't marry them. Don't even sleep with them. Stay clear. Let people with children deal with each other, okay? And also what goes along with that is I have no sympathy for single mothers. Not in 2023, guys. Women have 40 different kinds of birth control. It's a woman's responsibility to find a responsible guy to have a... a a child by women decide who gets born. No sympathy for single mothers over here. I found this article. It's called Landlord Explains Why He Proudly Evicts Single Mothers from His Properties. Nobody's Protected. Sorry, I'm not sorry. And I like seeing this kind of stuff, especially after those um, moratoriums during the, the cough cough where a lot of um, landlords had to deal with tenants just squatting in their properties and not paying rent. I had a couple of friends who almost lost their houses because of that. You know, their uh, rental properties or rental condos. So yeah, we have this base landlord who says, you know, single mothers, yeah, I kick them out, so what? So we're gonna read this article about him and watch it. it his TikTok that went viral. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And, and do you think that landlords should show empathy um, to single mothers? Put it in the comment section and let's go. It says, if I start giving passes to single moms with three kids, guess what? They start telling the, their neighbors, and that's 100% true. You give these people an inch, and they, they take a mile. It says, a landlord has sparked criticism after admitting that he has no problem evicting certain people from his properties. In a TikTok video, Tom Cruise, a landlord and real estate investor with hundreds of rental units, informed viewers that he has certain criteria when it comes to whom he allows to live in his buildings and claims that anyone, no matter their circumstances, can be evicted, uh, can be evicted if the need arises. What's so bad about that? You know, in black America, we have a, a term that came about in the 70s and the 80s. They used to say, ain't nothing going on up in here but the rent. And it couldn't ring any more true. You got to be able to pay the rent. I don't understand what's so hard about that. He explains why he probably evicts single mothers who don't pay rent each month. In Cruz's video, he responds to a comment asking if a landlord, if as a landlord, has he ever evicted a single mother from one of his properties? Now, who would ask that kind of question? The answer, of course, is yes. And if he said no, like, like what, uh, are you going to give him brownie points for taking a loss each month? You know, is he supposed to spend your you know adulation and praise for giving you know, is he supposed to put the adulation and praise for not evicting single mothers in the bank in his bank account no he can't do that he says oh yes on multiple occasions he boastfully stated guys there's nobody protected in my portfolio and that's how it needs to be let's see exactly what this guy says have I ever evicted a single mother out of one of my properties? Oh yes, on multiple occasions. Guys, there's nobody protected in my portfolio. The elderly, the disabled, the single moms. And this- Hi. He sounds like a super villain, doesn't he? But hey, you know what? Capitalism, baby, let's go. This is why. I'm buying in secondary and tertiary markets. These are small places. If I start giving passes to single mom with three kids, guess what? They start telling their neighbors, oh yeah, Tom doesn't enforce his own policies. Oh yeah, you can pay Tom's rent late. And before you know it, the entire community that you're renting Section 8 in doesn't respect you as a landlord or as an investor, and you're never going to get your rent on time from any of these people. Case yep, I agree 100%, man. You give these people an inch, they're going to take a mile, and they're going to tell all their friends about it. Case in point, about three months ago, I got a call from my property manager. Bring. Hey, Mr. Tom, I got a tenant here, Miss Carla. Miss Carla, if you're watching this, sorry, I'm not sorry. Savage, this guy sounds like Lex Luthor, doesn't he? <laughs> She hasn't paid her rent in two months. We've given her multiple warnings. What do you want to do? So I went back, look at her records, and sure enough, we've offered to buy her, cash her keys to be able to get her out of the property in exchange for money and her security deposit back. She stopped responding. We send her an eviction notice. Three weeks later, $200 in legal fees, and she's out on her ass with an eviction on her record. Boom. There it is. Tell me what's wrong with that. I see no problem with that. I've never missed a rent payment in my life. Never. It's not like you, you know how much to pay. You can plan ahead. 
leases tell you how much you need to pay in a certain amount of time. And I don't want to hear about, oh, how single mothers struggle. Women in 2023, for the past 30, 40, 50 years, you choose to be single mothers. You, you, you can Google, how hard is my life going to be if I'm a single mother? And women choose to do it anyway. We're, we're giving no sympathy to single mothers over here. Not on my channel, we're not. It says, Cruz continued claiming that he has no issues evicting anyone, including single mothers, the disabled, or the elderly. Uh, and, and by s secondary and tertiary markets, he means, you know, he he doesn't buy in like bigger, like, like hot markets like D.C. or, you know, you know, places where the property value, you know, is, is always going up or relatively stable. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, it says, um, Cruz continued claiming that he has no issue evicting anyone, including single mothers, disabled, or, or, or elderly. This is why I'm buying in secondary tertiary markets. He talks about, you know, Tom doesn't enforce his own policies. He's right about that. He claimed that if he acts lenient towards one person, it'll end up with all of his tenants thinking that they can pay rent late or not at all, and they'll get a free pass. So he, he talks about, the, they talk about him talking about the woman here. So it says, single mothers are often struggling financially as a sole breadwinners of their households. Now, your tango, the site, is one of those one of those sites, you guys. I've done articles about them before, so you already know what they're going to say, but we're going to review it anyway. While it's understandable that a landlord, you know, that as a landlord, if a tenant doesn't pay their rent, appropriate steps need to be taken. However, the lack of compassion and empathy was one of the main problems that viewer had with Cruz's treatment of a tenant, especially for people who are who may be struggling and have issues paying rent. For single mothers in, in particular, according to a 2020 survey conducted by Gallup, 44% of single mothers across the globe said they don't have enough money to buy necessary food in the past 12 months. 44%. Across the globe. And here it comes. Are you ready for this? Landlords also have a social responsibility <laughs> to provide safe and stable housing for their tenants. Boasting about handing out evictions with no problem sends a message that a landlord is more interested in profit than in fulfilling this responsibility. Landlords, that's why you invest in properties. It's for the profit. How did we get this twisted, you guys? How? How do you spend social responsibility? How do you put social responsibility in the bank? How do you pay your bills with social responsibility? How do you pay the mortgage on your investment policies, uh, properties with social responsibility? Get out of here. Eviction can also have severe consequences for the children involved, as now they have lost stable housing, which will only lead to emotional distress and an increased risk of having to live on the streets or in a shelter. Cry me a river. In the comment section, people agree that Cruz's outlook on evictions notice, notices shouldn't be so rigid. Landlords deserve res respect, but they got to have leeway in certain s situations. One TikTok we user pointed out. My problem with that is that they always talk about women getting leeway and single mothers, but they don't give men any leeway at all. If he, if he would have said, oh, yeah, you know, I kick men out all the time. None of these TikTok users would have said anything. Another user added, need to look into it, but my instincts tell me that basic needs like shelters shouldn't be an investment for an income. And that's what people that don't own property say. What a joke. This is why I can never be a landlord. I can't see myself evicting struggling families. That's why I lose money. Well, you know, at least you, you're self-reflective and you know that about yourself. Cruz's video reminds us that being fair and compassionate matters, especially when it comes to something as important as having a place to call home. The conversation around this isn't easy, but it's something we should all think about balancing rules, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I don't feel bad for him. We we give no sympathy to, to single mothers over here. Good job, um, Tom Cruise. Good job. You know, I hope he, he he keeps moving forward, buying properties. You know, getting the, the correct rent, evicting people. Like, it's capitalism. I don't see the problem. Am I wrong? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, put in the comments what you think. And I'll catch you on the next one.